Hello, friends. See this board? We're gonna turn this into a unique piece of artwork. Stay tuned for the finished resort. Hope you enjoy. Hello, my friends. Back again with another video. This is a 24 volt inverter by Glendale. Uh, it puts out 3000 watts. It's gonna be a little portable system that I'm gonna to put together. As you can see on the very top, you got the pure sine wave inverter. That is the kind of inverter that you need to have when you run it like computers, TVs, you know, stuff like that. That way it don't mess up your system. Down below that, the blue thing is called a smart solar charger. It's by Victron. And it's, I've been pretty well pleased with the Victron products. To the left and the right of that, those are called bus bars. Where all your wires gonna make the connections and junction off into different areas. Down below the Vixon solar charger is two fuses. One is for the solar charger, solar charger. The other is for the uh, solar panels that's gonna come inside the unit. This to the right is called a 24 volt reducer. What it does, it reduces the current from 24 volts down to 12 volt. That way you can run different things like charge your cell phone, uh, run anything that runs off 12 volt system because you cannot take a 12 volt system, hook it directly into this 24 watt inverter or you'll burn up your item that you're trying to hook into it. That's why you need this reducer. Here is an on off switch. That way you can kill the power to on your whole system without disconnecting wires. This is a good inverter. I have not had no problem with these inverters and this company is real good because if you have any problem with it, as you can see, it's got a five year warranty on it. If you have any problem with it, all you gotta do is call the company and if it's within that time frame, they'll send you nothing out. They're gonna ask you what the problem was with, with is with it, but they're sending it out. On the end of this inverter, you see two plugs. And also to the left of those two plugs, you can haul wire, 120 volt wire into it. And to the right of the plugs is your, your digital readout. Tell your voltage show your battery and tell you how much amps that you're putting out. And of course, you can see the wire that I'm going to use to put this system together. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Here's the wire that we're going to be using to build this system. I was going to use this wire here, but I decided to go with this wire. This is two gauge wire. By this being a 24 volt system, your wire don't have to be as big but I'd rather use two gauge wire. That way I don't have to worry about the wire heating up or nothing like that. So this is the wire we're gonna use to fit everything together. We already know where we're gonna put our bus bars and mount everything down. We're gonna go ahead and start screwing everything in this proper place where it's gonna go. We're gonna take and use these gold screws here, which I think is pretty nice. And we're gonna put them in the bus bar to hold them down. Okay, you can see we got both the bus bars tied down. We got the red one tied down and we got the black one tied down. Now we're getting ready to tie the solar charger down. We try to make everything look neat as possible. What I have found out in making these inverters, if you can make everything fit perfectly, measure everything out and make everything look neat, when you get your final result, you'll be really impressed with it. Hello, you two. Here's a surprise for you. Remember the board that was just sitting up against the garage door? Look at it now. How do it look? This is a nice system. 3000 watt, 24 volt inverter. It's almost completely. Only got two things to do to it. That is to hook the solar wire to the switch. And of course you can see that I did something different on this one. I put a plug on the end to where all you gotta do is connect your batteries to another plug just like that and make the connection. And then you got 
voltage going into it. I also put a switch right there. What that switch is going to do is going to control and turn off the power to this right here. That's what that's going to do. It's going to turn the power off to that and turn it on when you want it on to pro provide 12 volt to your 12 volt accessories. And here's the wires that connect to your 12 volt accessories. I haven't put the fuse block in it yet, but that's still yet to come. Hope you enjoyed this video. 3,000 watt, 6,000 watt surge, pure wave inverter, Gandale, good inverter. Fake Tron, solar charger. Thank you. Please subscribe to the channel. Any comments, feel free to leave comments. Hello YouTube, remember this board that was sitting in front of the wall here? It's all completed. Of course you can see, I went with, back, went with another Gendale inverter, pure sine wave inverter. As you can see, uh, this one here got a couple more items on it than the other one did. Of course you can see to the left, I put lights on this one. There's a light on that left side, and there's also a light on the right side. As you can see, this one here has a uh, monitor. It's a lifetime monitor. And what that tells is, tell you the voltage of the battery, tell you how many amps and how many watts is coming into the system or how many you're putting out. And of course you see there's a light up under it. I went back with another Victron solar charger, as you can see, MP130. And here's on off switch for my solar panels. That's what that's for, on off switch for the solar panel, which the solar panels is gonna feed in on this end right here, and it's gonna come back across, then it's gonna run down through these two wires here, which is red and black, it's gonna go into the solar charger as you can see you got a positive and a negative on the solar charger and e2 right here feeds the battery which is a positive and negative there this is the main switch to turn the whole system off and right here is where the battery is connecting to this anderson connection there's another piece that goes on this side here which will run out to your batteries, your 24 volt batteries. This switch here is on off switch. What this does, this control this here, which is a reducer, reducer from 24 volt down to 12 volt. That turns that on and off whenever you turn it on and off. This here is the same type of switch, but what this control is, this control the solar charger. You always wanna have this on before you connect your solar panels to it. If you don't, you'll burn this up. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. Please give me the thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up on it. Next time you see this system, it's gonna be running. I'm gonna put some batteries to it. I'm gonna put some loads on it and I'm gonna let you see this in operation. Hope you enjoyed the video.